Santini definitely goes chasing this year. I mean, he's he's always looked nothing but a chaser. Um, he, he was a big backward horse two years ago, but he proved dramatically last year, and he was very good at Cheltenham and Aintree, but he fences his, he's crying out for them. So we have had one pop and a look at him. So it's, um, yep, definitely where he's going. If all went well, you just run in a beginner's chase somewhere where, you know, when the rain comes along, but take it step by step. If the Felton was the right place to be around about Christmas, then maybe. Cheltenham first time out over fences, I think it tests him a bit. I mean, I don't, yeah, hopefully it wouldn't, it wouldn't worry him, but you know, the point, you know, you can, you can start low with these novice chasers. They've got, you've got one chance of just taking it, you know, getting, a, getting some experience without having a tough time. And I'd rather do it that way. But well, he's done nothing wrong so far. He's, he's got a long, long way to go to catch up with some of the others. But I mean, he is a, you know, he's, his hurdling career showed us that he's definitely got a lot of potential and he's the size and the scope. He's a gorgeous horse and, and you know, touch wood, he's uncomplicated. Terrafort, I think what we might try and do is have a look at that uh, intermediate chase that we used for Mike Bite last year at Sandown and then possibly the Ladbrook at Newbury. Um, it's, it's a race, it always seems to, we've anywhere we've always liked it with second season novices. Um, and I think he, he stayed three miles at Aintree, three and a quarter at Newbury is a bit, is a, is a bit more, but he's got a lot of experience. And as I say, uh, our previous winners, Trebolgans and, and Bobsworth all came from the RSA, in fairness, so um, I think he has the profile for it, and Sandown would be a nice place to start. I think we all know that these the, these sort of second season juveniles, the four-year-olds now, they'll be five after Christmas, they do have a difficult time in their second season, so they've got to be very good. He was just very progressive the whole way through. I didn't think he was a, anything very startling to start with, but he won at Warwick the first time by 20 something lengths and then he just got better and better and better and it was a crying shame he couldn't go to Cheltenham. We did have Apple Shakira as well and sort of thought we had a good, well not a backup because she was actually probably the shorter price of the two but she ran too keen in Cheltenham and, and he was sadly stuck in his box here but luckily he got over it in good time and, and was very very good at Aintree. Mr. Whipped is definitely on the on the novice chase list. Yes, um, you know, he's one of these Irish point of pointers that had a very lucrative first season over hurdles, but all with chasing in mind for this year. He stays. Um, I would think even like Santini. I'm not, I don't say Santini would even start over three miles the first time. He'd probably start at two and a half and then then up them to three. On the blind side, he's another one. Ex Irish pointer pointer um, did nothing wrong over in, in the first part of his novice hurdle campaign and, and had done everything to say here is he was a genuine I'd think two and a half mile horse but maybe only two I didn't, we hadn't really made our mind up but then unfortunately he got a hind lameness which we never really got to the bottom of um, but he's um, so he could he couldn't his, his preparation went haywire and I hadn't really got him ready in time so anyway he's back in he's fine now and, and, and he goes straight over fences. Apple Shakiri she started her season really well and she went to Cheltenham three times and won three times um, by which time she probably didn't know there was any other race course when she got there in March and everything had seemed right she just ran very very free um, she ran herself into the ground, to be honest with you. I think it's like a, somebody's gone over the top, and she certainly had by the time we got to Aintree, um, which was disappointing, because she'd, she'd done everything right earlier on in the year, and, and Barry loved her, and I think, you know, we just had a summer out and start again. Where is obviously a, a, a difficulty. I'd quite like to have a look at the mayor's race at Weatherby, but again, if Weatherby was quick enough the other day and, and, and if it's that ground she wouldn't be going there either. 
Pym is a horse we've always liked, and he, he has an extraordinary similarity with Altior. And well, he's got two similarities. One is that he's owned by Pat and Christopher Pugh, like Altior. And secondly, he won his bumper in his first season, and then the second season went pear shaped. And I had to leave him bumpering and, instead of going novice hurdling. And I don't know what it was, but he never just came to us at all. He schooled all right, but his work was I was never that happy with him. And he actually then ran in a couple of bumpers at the end of the season just to give him something to do, because I thought he was coming back to himself, and he had. Um, he's come in this year, and so we started him in the same race as Altior started his career in. So, as I say, I think, I'm afraid that's not, not really, I think that's the only similarity they have. I don't think he's the next Altior, but I think he's a nice horse. Brain Purr is a bit of an enigma. Um, when he's good, he's very, very good. Huge talent. Um, we have had a little back operation because I was never quite, you know, his jumping was has always been sort of slightly inconsistent. Um, he's got about six different techniques. We really, you want one. And <laughs> we know what that's it's what it's meant to look like. It, it never really looked right. Um, so that's been done. His wind's had a little tinker as well. I hope we've done it because he has schooled very well over fences a couple of times this year. And I think I've seen a difference. I think with Brain Power, we'll start over fences. If it doesn't work, he could easily come back over hurdles. Champ is, he has been, it's a, it's a tough name to be given. Um, I'm sure JP was sort of sitting on it um, waiting for the right horse. Whether he's chosen the right horse to carry this name, I don't know, but I like him a lot. He's a very well-bred horse, and he was going the right way all the way through the back end of last season. We just got to see how we are. He's, he's, he's sort of, he, he's progressing well. He looks great. Um, we've got to map out his campaign yet. Charlie Parks is a, is a guy we've always liked, and he might, he might be a horse for the Unibet Greatwood hurdle. Um, or, I mean, he, he, there's no doubt he's talented. He, he probably never got things going quite the right way for him last year. Um, but it, it, it'll happen. You're not tempted to go novice chasing with him? You could do, you could do, but I still think there's probably a good hurdle race to be won. Clayman Tanky Forgan has been at the sort of, you know, he was at, he was high up in the novice hurdle category last year. He was very good. He was placed in the Supreme and yeah, he's the, he's the he's one of the obvious ones anyway. I think he's a two miler. I mean, he, I'm sure he'd get a bit further, but um, he, he's a he's a pacey horse. And I, I think and hope that the, the novice chase division this year is is very strong um, in in all divisions. Three miles, I can see the three milers. I can see the two and a half milers, and I can see the two the two milers. And he's definitely one of the two milers. Lock Dirk Spirit, he's yeah, he, he was a good hurdler. He had a he had an unlucky season last year, really, because we kept him over hurdles uh, on purpose, really, because I thought he wanted another year before he went chasing. And all he did was walk into soft ground wherever he went, um, and. He hates it. He ran some good races, but he was he, he's not going to be top class in soft ground. So we found a nice little race, novice chase for him to start in at Weatherby. And I say, I hadn't really, I, I didn't think he'd really come to hand, to be honest with you. So it was a good performance. Um, okay, the other horse fell over, but um, he beat the track record by quite some way. So he must have gone around there quite quickly, or they must have cut the bends off. I suspect they cut the bends off, don't you? Well, Soul Emotion, he didn't really come to us until the latter second part, anyway, of last season. Um, having had two rather bad experiences over fences in France. And we brought him back to hurdles. Um, and he was very impressive both times. Now, he looks and does everything that tells you he ought to go chasing. But I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, he obviously didn't find it very easy in France. And we have 
sort of had a look at him already. And we try, it's his technique really, and it's, it's, you know, I won't say I haven't seen this before from France. It's, th their obstacles are slightly different and they, th they, have a, they do have a different technique. And we have tried quite hard with solar motion to get him to thinking that he could jump a fence. And the answer is we're not going to. Um, we're going to go over hurdles and we're going to have to hope that he's good enough to grow into a world hurdle horse because um, otherwise he's going to have a very difficult time. Corbin Lord is another interesting character in that he can only go right-handed. Um, and even sometimes right-handed, he goes too right-handed. He nearly went off the track one day at Huntington going because he was going right. He can't go left. So it does restrict you quite a lot. Where he did help us last year was by, uh, on the last day at Sandown, by upping him in trip to two and a half as an experiment to see if he'd get it. And which I'm glad to say he did. Um, then at least it opens it up that he's got the two and a half mile races to come in as well as two, but right-handed. And I think possibly the Ascot Hurdle is the obvious place to be starting him. Top Notch is probably everybody's favourite horse on the place, really, only because he's just, he's a very, very likeable little person. And he had a very good four-year-old, three, four-year-old juvenile season. And I thought that would probably be as far as he'd go. Um, he did well the following year, but found it very difficult. Um, like they often do and then it was really whether he would jump a fence and it, it you know he really doesn't have a lot of scope um, but he's been fantastic and he has to you know he's his own way of doing it because he can't just he can't go and do what some of those big horses the Mike Bites and Altios can do because he hasn't got the scope to do it but he's he and Darrell have worked out a very sensible way of getting round um, and you know, he, he's he just about to, he gets two and a half really well these days, so you know, he's going to be knocking on all those doors. The, the likes of the Peterborough Chase and the sort of races, it, it, you know, you'd hope he'd have a very good chance of. My sense of yours, well, I mean, he's, he's sort of, well, if, not, if top notch isn't the favourite, Tent is, because, again, he's been here since he was a three-year-old. Um, he wasn't, he was sort of one of these horses that I just, sort of rather fancied at Doncaster Sales. He was not expensive. And, you know, he, he's just done brilliantly throughout. I would have thought, um, yeah, the the uh, Unibet International is the um, is the is the obvious the obvious one. He won it last year. Admittedly then he was without a grade one penalty, which you'll now have. Um, so it won't be it won't be any easier. Well, it's going to be six pounds more difficult, to be honest with you, so that's that. But he's getting on a bit now, and, and you know, he's, like us all, we get a bit creakier as we get older, and he, he, he is a bit like that, he needs binding. Vadana Blue, she just loves fast ground, and she has to have that. Like she's, you know, we've run her in soft ground plenty of times. She runs good races. What we'll do is keep going as long as we can find the, the ground for her through the autumn. Um, then I suggest she does actually have a couple more runs while it's wet before she has a winter break. We give her at least one, if not two more runs. Then she's had three runs on the flat. Um, so you've got something to do next summer, which could be entertaining. Um, as you know, they're rather enthusiastic. Um, the, well, she runs in the colors of Crimborne Stud, and, but they're a great team. Um, I mean, there was a lot of talk last year of we were going to win the champion hurdle. But she's probably never going to win the champion hurdle because the chances of Simon Clace giving us good to firm on the first day of the festival are, as we all know, absolutely zero. Because he will start it on good to soft whether the weather says that or not. It'd be good to soft or softer. And so she probably won't win a champion hurdle, I'm the first to admit. So I suspect the next plan from the Parker camp will probably be something like the Melbourne Cup. <laughs> anyway, I fancy a trip out there. I like her and uh, Countista. She's a nice, she's a lovely mare. She's, she's, she wouldn't be the biggest, but she's, 
She's got a lot of ability. Um, we were talking about the uh, Unibet Greatwood hurdle, and, and, and that's a possibility. And there's a, there's a very good race at Ascot uh, in a fortnight's time. Just have to see, really. She is ready to go. So, but again, ground would be a bit too quick for her at the moment. I, she wants good ground, um, but just, you know, same old story. I mean, we're not going to take a chance on very fast ground. Mr. Fisher is, he, he seems to be on everybody's lists. Um, his first bumper was very impressive. I was disappointed with him a little bit at Aintree. I do, we did think he was a, a very nice horse. He's done fantastically well in the summer. I, he's, he, of all the horses, he's probably been the, 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 the sort of the grower of the year award. I, he's, he, he's grown an inch and he looks fantastic. He's schooled and he jumps very well. He, he's, he's one of a number of, you know, very, yes, he is very exciting, but we'll just have to see that we, we don't know how good he is yet. Okay, Corral had a good year. He, he, he has been very, very delicate. Um, that we'd, from one issue to another, it has not been easy. But he ran a great race at Cheltenham. He actually finished in front of Santini. Um, and again, the idea would be to go over fences. Rodderby, I like a lot. Um, we had to, the, 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 uh, the Close Brothers, um, novice chase at the festival was his obvious race and got to be so careful there because of the rating band uh, 0 to 145 it's not a 0 to 145 it's a it's 140 to 145 so you've got to get there first you've got to get in somehow first so that's a, that's an art of its own um, he just got touched off but he ran a wonderful race but funny enough it, it, he was he just went off after that and he Again, I couldn't, I couldn't get him back for anything afterwards, but he'd had a good time up until then, and I think he's progressive. Downtown Getaway is, we, he came to us after he'd won a bumper mid-season, and there was really, the idea was probably to run him in another bumper, but a couple of issues just cropped up, and to be honest with you, put him away because the ground was drying up, and I'm sure he wants a good cut in the ground. Um, he's in, he's out. I say he's forward, I can't go too far forward with him because I'm, I just know he wants, he's going to want some slow ground. He jumps very, very well. Uh, everything's going good. I like him. She's rather a smart filly, I think. She looked very good earlier on. Um, she's another one we just did have to play with a soft palette before we started this season. That's all done. Um, she will jump a fence when the time comes, but I, I think there's, there's unfinished business over hurdles. Um, so we could perhaps just see how far she could go. You know, you have got you know, a lot of opportunities for these mares. She's going to stay two and a half. She will jump a fence in time, but I, I, I think she's, she's a capable mare that could sort of go further over hurdles. Crook Dune, I don't know much about her, to be honest with you at the moment. She won on the flat in France. She started doing little bits of work on the all weather. Again, I would be pretty sure she wouldn't want the ground too quick. Um, she wouldn't be one of the most forward ones, but she's a very nice mare. Never Adapt won a hurdle race in France, a juvenile, um, by a wide margin. I was hoping to go to Weatherby for the Wensleydale, um, but again, ground will dictate that. She's ready, she's ready to run, so... Um, that was our first idea of where to start. She has only had one run, but she, she does everything well. Birchdale, is, he's a lovely big horse. He won a point to point. Um, he's sort of obviously new to us he's by Jeremy. He's a gorgeous looking horse. The little bits we've done with him, again, he's a big horse. He's not gonna do much on this ground. We'll just have to, he's schooled and he's done a couple of little bits of work. Lovely, lovely horse. Elder Guard had a slight, he was rather in and out sort of season, and for which I don't know. Uh, I mean, he did disappoint, he won well the first time, then he disappointed us. Um, but he, he came into the Fred Winter and ran a fantastic race, and he just got touched off, which was bad luck. Um, he's, we've schooled him over fences a couple of times, he's been very good, so the temptation is to go. Um, 
you on jump fences as a four-year-old. He started the season very well um, and he does want good ground. Um, he's a fine big horse, he looks like that sort of horse, but I'm not convinced he's an out and out stayer, so I don't know. Listen, Grand Nationals are very elusive around here, and I, I can't, I don't know, there's one or two I could see that I could enter, but I'm not sure they're certain to go there.